In this episode of The Chem Life, we're going to be making methyl salicylate, also known as wintergreen. This simple organic synthesis produces a compound used in aromatherapy. For this synthesis, we'll need acetosalicylic acid, methanol, or methyl hydrate, depending on where you buy it, sulfuric acid, and finally, hydrochloric or muriatic acid. You will also need to have a simple reflux setup. In this step, we're going to be synthesizing salicylic acid. Now, this is going to be synthesized from the acetosalicylic acid, which is the main ingredient in aspirin. First, add about 50 grams to a boiling flask, and then add 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution. That's about 20% hydrochloric acid. Then, add this to your reflux setup, and reflux for about half an hour at about 60 degrees Celsius. As you reflux the solution, the acetosalicylic acid is hydrolyzed to salicylic acid as well as acetic acid. You can see the salicylic acid as very long uh, needle-like crystals. Uh, you can sort of see it here, but it was hard to get a good shot of it. Um, but you'll see it more clearly later. Set up for simple vacuum filtration and begin to filter out the salicylic acid. There's going to be a small amount of acetosalicylic acid left, but this is you don't need to worry about this. Now, as you filter it through, be sure to wash with very, very cold water. Uh, this will help remove any of the acetic acid that's left, as well as some of the uh, acetosalicylic acid. When the filtration is done, collect your product, and here it is, the very thin needle-like crystals. Now to synthesize the methyl salicylate. To do this, we're going to need 20 milliliters of methanol, as well as 2 grams of the salicylic acid we just synthesized. To this, add 15 to 20 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to act as a catalyst. Reflux this solution for about 40 minutes, and once that's done, take the, let the solution cool, and then collect your final product. My solution is slightly purple because of iron contamination which caused the salicylic acid to turn the solution purple. Once the refluxing is done, you can collect your final product, which may be a bit cloudy because of uh, excess salicylic acid, which can be removed through filtration. If you would like a more pure product, you can also do a simple extraction with dichloromethane. Unfortunately, I lack dichloromethane, so I wasn't able to do this. This is my final product of fairly pure a methyl salicylate.